Survival on Purpose coverage of the 2018 SHOT Show is sponsored by Olight Flashlights and Hog Holsters. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose coverage of the 2018 SHOT Show. I was lucky enough to run into Matt Graham here. You may recognize him because he's like my favorite TV guy. And, uh, <laughs> and he's also a really good songwriter, which I think is even even cooler. But um, Matt was kind enough to offer to, to kind of give us a quick lesson in a bow drill. You may know that I've struggled and struggled and struggled and finally came up with two bow drill fires out of hundreds of attempts. So Matt makes it look easy, but he, so maybe you can just tell us the, the, the big tips for it. And while you're at it, you can show us a couple of new knives you got here too. Sure, sure, yeah. It's good so, to see you. You again. too, you too, you yeah. too. Um, yeah, with the bow drill, you know, there's we actually been burning all kinds of fires today. We've got we've got hand drill here, which is for those who don't know, the hand drill is where you're just using the, your hands. Yeah. It, and that's that's the fire method I prefer. Uh, bow drill gives you a little bit more mechanical advantage, but with mechanics, there's more to fail, so yeah. everything's got to be dialed. Well, I tried a hand drill last summer, and after about 30 seconds, all I had was a gigantic blister right here. Yeah. So, yeah I guess you got to get your hands a little tougher for that, huh? Just, just consistency. Just do yeah. a little bit every day, and yeah. you'll, you'll get all the calluses yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. But uh, with the bow drill, uh, basically, take your spindle here, give it a nice, nice half rotation, work the hand up. So that locks it in. The key really is, is, you know, is form once you get the wood. You want to get your arch really close to that hole. And uh, this socket here is by Condor, which is pretty cool. It's an aluminum scale on this pocket knife, so you got a nice bow drum in there. Lock it in right against your foot right there. And then back and forth. So you said you said you you're struggling with the, the, the bow drill a little bit? Yeah, I've, I've only had been able to get two coals in my entire life. Let's make it a third. That works for me, yeah, let's do that. You want to give it a go? Yeah, sure. Okay. We'll try it. All right. So. About here. Yeah, foot up a little further. Forward, forward, forward. Yeah. here. And then with this, you want to grab it and so your fingers are wrapped like that. Press it down. Let me move this mic out of the way. Okay. So just like like this. Yep. Put, yeah, right over the edge. You got it. Okay, so, and this is your design too, right? It is. Yeah. So and just start. Light pressure at first. Perfect. Yeah. Easy as peasy. If that's a word. And then uh, you got all you got to do is just keep that up. You don't need any more pressure. Just be consistent. You'll have a coal in a few minutes. Look at that. I see a coal. I see yeah. a stinking coal. Yeah, third coal. Oh, man. Look at that. <laughs> Very nice. Wow. <laughs> you need to get my face smiling here, man. Come on. <laughs> Look at that. Pretty awesome. Are you going to blow it up here, right here in the middle of Shot Show, huh? Yeah, why not? It's, it's Friday. Friday. It's just Joe's hands. <laughs> Good job. I am completely, completely amazed. I'll just be honest with you. Like, man, that was the easiest one I've gotten two out of three. Thanks, man. So I guess I, my problem has always been I feel like I got to start pushing down harder and harder and harder and working so hard I get so I get worn out, you know? Because I, I get going up to now, everybody, everybody's always like, oh, faster, 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 faster. Next thing you know, I'm like yeah. out of breath. So, so, you know, consistency plays, plays a lot. You want to just be, once you find find that, that groove, yeah. you know it's going to make it just stay consistent. So what kind of wood are we using for, for, for fireboard? Um, this is a Joe's kit, so we've got cedar and then it's, you are using, uh, looks like yucca right there. Okay, so that probably helps 
just because it's so softer? They're both pretty soft. Yeah. Um, it's generally the, the grain structure that's most important. Okay. More yeah. So than the hardness. Uh, really? So just what, what 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 would you be looking for in grain structure? Uh, you know, a lot of times, like with like with uh, spindles, like yuccas. This particular yucca has got a pithy center, but right. it's got thick enough walls to have yeah, right. So any of those those stalks that grow within a year are usually yeah. pretty good. Okay. Um, generally, it's they grow so fast that they have these little pores that run through. Yeah, and those little pores basically create a nice, nice and cool. Instead of it being flaky, it sticks together. I got you. Really yeah. Man, I am completely thrilled. This is like, you may not think it's a big deal, it's a huge deal for me. I think that's really cool, man. That's so, awesome. while we're here, maybe it was the knife. Because <laughs> this is really cool knife. Show us about that. This is pretty awesome. You've got a pocket knife right here that's got my card of scale on one side, and then it's got the aluminum where you need it. And this That aluminum right there allows for a nice, easy spin rotation. Yeah, that was so, a huge deal. So you're not getting any friction up here, yeah. which is which helps a lot. Yeah, because I've been using the best thing I've had at home is a piece of fatwood to try to make it. Uh, yeah. you know, but it helps, but it's still kind of sticky. Yeah, you're still going to get some friction right. out there. Yeah. So this, since no friction's up here, all the friction goes there. And that's right. where you want it. Yeah, and that's got a nice blade, a perfect size blade shape for doing like car carving out your board or whatever. Yeah, it's good for carving a notch, whatever you need to do. <laughs> and um. Then it, you said it comes in a pouch. It's got room for for some string. From you can even put a string in there for your boat. It does yeah. So you got all, everything with you. All, uh, all at once. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. So there's going to be one of these um, in my hands pretty soon because you know I, I'm gonna I'm gonna take credit for the for the knife helping me with the boat reel. But Matt, really, that was so cool, man. I, I don't know how to, I don't know how to thank you. Doesn't just say thank. But yeah, something else. A couple other things. We can't go without looking at a couple of knives. Um, this is your latest version, I kind of the newest version of like the bush, sort of a, a, a iteration of the bush knife. It is, yeah. So the primitive bush knife was one that I originally reshaped about eight years ago, but redesigned with Condor um, three years ago, and I was using it on dual survival. Right, right. This this is the new version. It's got a little bit more of a performance handle, which. You know, I like both. I like the symmetry and simplicity of the other one. Right. But I was like, all right, I'm going to go ahead and deliver one that's still the same weight, still very light, but it's actually about an inch and a quarter longer, and it's got a nice handle you can chop all day long with. Yeah, it's got a good angle on the handle. Really fast knife. This is good for even just clearing brush in a jungle if you want to as well. Cool. And then there's another life you made that's been getting a lot of attention this week, I think, called the Big Leaf, maybe? we got to show that because I know it's like a really cool. So uh, this one, Joe tells me it's a paddle. Yeah. You know, what do you say? This is a fan? Yeah, yes, it's, fan. It's, a fan. it's a fan. So you can be creative. Actually, no, this one I, I like. I usually go for shapes that are inspired by nature. So this is called the Big Leaf. And it's, a, it's a lot of steel, but it's still pretty lightweight. And it's got a lot of steel you can grab and use as a draw knife. Yeah, yeah. And you really get a lot of purchase on it for different types of grips when you're working. And sometimes, you know, it's nice to be able to have multi ways to hold on to it too. Right. You can use it like a new it's, it's very light. And uh, yeah, I think this will be a nice knife. This is a prototype. The one we sell might be a little bit narrower. We'll have a nice distal taper on it. And then, you know, this to me, this is screaming for a balance test. But uh, very cool. So, well, I am no. It's getting late. We've had a long week. Man, I can't tell you how much thanks. Thanks for letting show me this. It's like you just really made my whole whole week right cool. here. I'm telling you, man. Yeah. Good deal. So, so thanks for taking the time. Be sure you, you got to do. What do you got going in the works right now? What's coming up next? What, what don't I have? I got shot a new series, Bushcraft Build Off. Bushcraft Build Off. With Discovery Channel. Yeah. So check that out. Classes are coming up. Spring classes all of April. Um, you can find them on my, my Instagram, which is Matt Graham Earth Skills. Matt Graham Earth Skills on Instagram. I'll put a link to that below. Yeah. Check it out. Um, I'm telling you, he just proved to me that he's an excellent teacher. This, there you go. And, it's, uh, and I think if you've seen seen him on TV, you know that he's got the skills to back up what he's saying. So, um, and he does a cool job of knives. And he's also just a fun guy to hang out with. Maybe he'll play you a song or two if you come out to the class. So, thanks, man. I really appreciate it again for taking time. Thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. I put out a new video every Friday and Saturday and usually other videos throughout the week. Click right over there to Matt's left. You can check out a new video. Click down behind Matt and you can subscribe. I really appreciate it.
Once again, my name is Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival is not an accident, so be prepared. I'll see you next time.